see this is old man metal. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm not doing a normal podcast today, doing something a little different, uh, just testing a new piece of equipment. I said on the last podcast, that was the Packy One Chip Challenge episode, that I wanted to get a better microphone for my camera uh, to use instead of the onboard mic, and uh, that's what I've done. Uh, I wanted to get something that was going to have better sound quality, um, better directionality, and uh, some more distance, not necessarily for working indoors, but uh, for some other stuff that I want to do. So that's what I've done. I picked up a Rode VideoMic Pro. It's one of the new ones with the Rycote suspension, and I'm going to try it out today versus the onboard mic on the camera and uh, see how it does in this workspace and also figure out what settings I should be using. Um, this microphone can be set to minus 10 dB, uh, 0 dB, or not 0, but you know, not plus or minus, or plus 20 dB. And the camera that I've got lets you set the gain manually on the onboard mic as well, or the auxiliary mic if you're using one like this. Uh, so that's another uh, group of settings there. And the research that I've done, pretty much uh, I've figured out what everyone says for working indoors in a space like this, the type of podcasting shooting that I'm doing right now, um, you want to use a plus 20 dB on the Rode microphone and turn the manual gain on the camera all the way down and then bump it up a few clicks above the bottom, like somewhere between two and four, is the, seems to be the consensus of people who've rigged this thing and used it for this type of, uh, this type of application. Outdoors would be different, you know, if you were shooting action in front of you or something like that, the settings would probably be different. The Rode mic also has a high pass filter setting too, uh, which the camera does as well. I've never used it, but the camera does. I know it's, it's in there somewhere. But uh, this microphone's got a high pass filter, which lets you uh, filter out low end noise. And on this mic, it's uh, 80 hertz is the cutoff. So anything below 80 hertz, you can put set this microphone in a mode where it'll roll that off and that lets you uh, get rid of some of the low-end noise that you might have, low-end environmental noise. Uh, so that's another nice thing about it. Um, and this is what it looks like. It is a uh, shotgun microphone that mounts on a camera. Uh, it's a really common one. A lot of people use them. Um, and it seems to be uh, doing a good job for people that use it. So it's just a uh, just a shotgun mic that mounts on the front of a camera and points towards what you're recording like that. And um, this right here is the Rycote suspension that I'm talking about, the, the mounting that this thing is on. It's like this shock absorber deal. And what that does is keep any movement from transmitting itself. If your camera's moving or you bump the camera or whatever, it's got the microphone isolated from that movement. So that's why they've uh, got that suspension. And it's supposed to be an improvement over the old suspension that they used from what I've read. And um, so you see you've got your controls on the back there. And what you've got is, uh, I can't even see it with the light in my damn face. On top, you've got your, uh, your on, and you're off and your uh, switch where you can do the uh, the low pass or the high pass rather and then the bottom switch there is uh, minus 10 db zero or you know no boost and uh, plus 20 db so that's where you control all that and um, then it's just got a uh, well and then it's got a little cable that comes out into a, a three and a half millimeter headphone jack, which is what plugs into your camera. So it's a pretty straightforward piece of equipment. Um, it runs about $200, so it's not cheap, but it's also not terribly, terribly expensive. It's not going to break the bank. And um, so we're going to see if I get $200 worth of improvement in my audio, which I'm sure I will. Um, so right now, what you're hearing is uh, lav mic audio. Um, and that's what I used for the, the Packy One Chip Challenge. I've got a lav mic here that uh, you can see if you look uh, right here. So that's the audio that you're hearing right now. And in this space, that's going to be, probably be better audio than this Rode. Um, we'll see. But this lav mic being right here, right up on me, I'm probably going to pick up a lot less environmental stuff than with the Rode. Really what I'm comparing the Rode to is the is the uh, is the built-in mic on the camera and so that'll be the first comparison and what I'm gonna do right now is um, you've been listening to me talk on the lav audio now I'm gonna cut the lav audio out and 
what you're hearing now is audio from the onboard uh, camera mic and you can hear that the sound quality is a lot lower and you're picking up, a, you're hearing a lot more environmental noise. The AC just kicked off so you're probably not hearing that. You would have been otherwise. Um, but you can hear how lively this room is, how echoey and, and reverbery it is and uh, you can really hear that a lot more on the camera mic than you can on the, uh, on the lav mic. And I'm going to stand back now. And right now I'm right at about six feet from the camera mic and the camera mic is up on top of the camera, it points up and it's an omnidirectional mic so it picks up noise from all around it. So right now um, this is where I'm going to be when I test the, uh, the road mic. So that's what I want the comparison to be is what you're hearing right now. But you can hear the difference now how um, much of a decrease in quality and how much of an increase in environmental noise there is using the, the mic on the camera. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut back to the lav mic audio. Because I hate listening to the, the camera audio and you can tell a huge difference when I cut back, I'm sure. So that's our first comparison and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, cut and I'm going to rig up this microphone and I'm going to do test shots at uh, three different settings. I'm going to set this to uh, plus 20 dB and I'm going to set it to the, uh, the high pass filter so that it's rolling off whatever low end noise there is. And then I am going to run the camera. I'm going to go in and uh, set the manual gain all the way down to the bottom and then I'm going to come up two clicks. I'll test that and then I'm going to come up three clicks. So two from the bottom and then one more to three from the bottom and I'll record that and then I'll do another click up from that to be four clicks up from the bottom and uh, I'll put those together and we'll take a look and see what they sound like and then we'll figure out what else we want to try from there. So uh, we'll see what happens. Mm. Ah. Old Tuffy. Let's see what happens. This is test dialogue recorded with the Rode Video Mic Pro set plus 20 dB. And the onboard audio gain to three clicks up from the lowest setting, which is minus 9 dB. This is test dialogue recorded with the onboard camera microphone with auto gain set to on. This is test dialogue recorded with the Rode Video Mic Pro set plus 20 dB. And the onboard audio gain to three clicks up from the lowest setting, which is minus 9 dB. This is test dialogue recorded with the onboard camera microphone with auto gain set to on. This is test dialogue recorded with the Rode Video Mic Pro set to plus zero dB and the camera audio gain set to plus three dB. This is test dialogue recorded with the onboard camera microphone with auto gain set to on. This is test dialogue recorded with the Rode Video Mic Pro set to minus 10 dB. The onboard audio gain set to plus 6 dB. This is test dialogue recorded with the onboard camera microphone with auto gain set to on. So after a whole bunch of different takes and tests, you can see that the best results that I got as sort of I expected from the research I'd done was in this space at least, 
plus 20 dB on the video mic pro and the audio gain on the camera turned all the way down, which on this camera is minus 12 dB. Um, that gives you the best, the best sound that you could get out of all the different things that I tried. Um, that setup compared to the microphone that comes on the camera, obviously my voice sounds a lot better. It's a higher quality microphone. Uh, my voice is louder for the distance that I was at, and that is because the Rode VideoMic Pro is a directional mic versus an omnidirectional mic sitting on top of the camera. So it's more focused on me because it's pointing at me, so you get better sound, uh, better record volumes, and that means that you have to use less gain, which means that you get uh, less amplifier noise and less environmental noise. Um, the Rode VideoMic does pick up a good bit of environmental noise compared to the lav mic. Um, but the fact of the matter is that's just the nature of the mic and like I said earlier I didn't purchase the video mic pro for doing interior stuff like this It's for outside stuff where you need to catch sound at a distance and you're not going to be able to catch it as well with the built-in um, Audio that's on the camera the built-in microphone on the camera um, If I was going to shoot in this setting I would use the lav mic like I'm doing now But this is the controlled environment that I had to test things out um, so with the new mic, uh, the, obviously the sound is more directional. You get more volume with less gain, which is good. And also the sound quality is a lot better. And um, so I'm recording now a little bit closer to the camera. And I do have the, uh, the Rode mic on the camera set up uh, at plus 20 dB and the gain on the camera turned all the way down. So we'll see how that sounds. I'm standing a little bit closer and what I'll do now is I'll cut out the lav mic audio and now you can hear what it sounds like with the camera set up with the Rode VideoMic Pro the way I figured out was the best setting for this. And um, you can tell if you go back and listen to what the base camera sounds like, it sounds a lot better. Not as good as the lav mic, but again, the lav mic's a better mic for this environment and for what I'm doing, um, just using this controlled environment to test the Rode VideoMic Pro. So anyhow, that's what we've got, and that's what I'll be using when I start doing outside stuff. Whenever that is, um, I've got a decent microphone to do that now, and maybe stuff in buildings, things like that, um, where I'm not necessarily able to use a, uh, a, a good microphone because I'm moving around, things like that. So we'll see what kind of stuff I get into. Anyhow, um, appreciate you sticking around and um, checking it out. If you're interested in the mic, I'll put a link in the show notes down below, um, an affiliate link. So if you're interested in getting one for yourself, you can click on that affiliate link and uh, I'll get a little bit of a cut on the action. So if you're going to buy one anyhow, you might as well help out someone that you like. Um, anyhow, appreciate you watching. Uh, hope you have a good rest of the weekend. Mine's just now starting and um, we'll go from there. And since it's a normal podcast, I'm not going to do my normal closeout. I'm just going to say, take care. Thanks for listening. Bye now. This is Test Dialogue recorded with the Rode VideoMic Pro set to plus zero dB. And the camera manual gain set to... What the hell did I set it to?